Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, welcome to this next episode of Who Are You? So I'm here with another guest today. So, who are you? My name is Mark McCarthy. And Mark, whereabouts are you from? And And I'm from Milton Keynes, born and bred. So I live in the south on a southern blue. But you're a massive blue. We, I think everybody who'll come on and watch this this episode will know who you are uh, because your face and your son's face is always plastered across Man City uh, sort of memorabilia and photos and things like that. So you're here to answer five questions that we ask all of the guests. So I'm going to get straight onto it and ask you the first question. Can you remember your first Manchester City game? Absolutely. Impossible for me ever to forget it etched on my memory for many reasons but it was November the 30th 1985 Billy McNeil City at Luton Town away now the reason it sticks out so much for me is uh, my father had no interest in football whatsoever I was City daft and begged him to begged him to take me to watch this game when I knew City Luton's only half an hour from us so uh, it agreed to Mum then proceeded to knit me head to toe in blue and white, virtually stood out like a little saw short, going to the got to the ground. Dad took me in the first turnstile he could see, stood there excited, big queue of people moving away from us, further away, further away. Then I could hear, City, City, coming from the other end of the ground. <laughs> he took us straight in the wrong turnstile. <laughs> the, steward, the steward threw us out, said he had to go out. And my dad then proceeded to drag, it was about nine or ten, dragged me back to the van, said, we're going home. And I was, uh, tears, and I was in bits, you know, screaming and shouting. And to shut me up, he took me back round. I had to pay the get in again and uh, went in the city in. We lost 2-1, Mark Lely scored. Brian Steen, two for Luton. But it, it wasn't just the game. It was the people, the characters, the smell, everything around me. And as a young lad, that was it then. The city bug had bitten me, hooked oh. Well, certainly into the 80s, that's a perfect sort of welcome, isn't it? The sort of team and the, the style of football and everything we were playing back in them days. So, uh, on to your second question. What is your favourite all-time Manchester City game and why? Well, I've seen this question asked numerous times and obviously you can you can re reel off the sort of the recent era games. They go without saying, you know, Aguero game, this game, that game. But for me... It's a more personal game. Uh, back in 2004, we were 3-0 down at Spurs in an FA Cup replay. And um, I didn't actually go to the game. I had a ticket. But uh, my lad Harvey, as everyone knows, if you see me, Ben Harvey's never far away. He was uh, battling very poorly in a hospital in London, battling meningitis. And uh, But till he come back, he came back. So that game is always my favourite game because it kind of mirrors the fight back. Harvey was given in his life, and he won't mind me for saying this. You know, he was given a very slim chance of survival, and you know, City didn't have much chance of survival that night either. So let's do. So for me, that that game is the most you know personal fav favorite game of mine. What a wonderful, what a wonderful answer. Um, and I've met your lad. He's a lovely lad, a really nice lad, and a big blue. <laughs> so on to your third question: Who's your all-time favorite Manchester City player? And why? Simple, David Silva, the, the best player I've seen, not just as a City player, but in 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 my time watching football live. Uh, he could probably beat ten opponents in a phone box. Silva and play football with his eyes. He's just the most gifted, naturally talented footballer. And in this day and age, he conducts himself so well on off the pitch as well. You know, he's just a class act through and through. Best player I've ever seen. Yeah, he's, he's mine as well. Um, on to your fourth question. What's the best Manchester City goal you've ever seen live or on TV and why? Oh, the many, many spring to mind. Uh, you know, your favourites and the, something else happens. Mick McCarthy's head, I was there as a young lad against United. Uh, the place took off, but it, it was beaten. The season just gone. Because I've looked to Harvey two minutes later earlier and I said, we're in trouble there, son. We're not scoring tonight. And Vincent Company went, well, whatever he did, it was sent from above, wasn't it? <laughs> it was zapped into him. He did that. That that's It beats the Aguero moment for me as well. Let's say what other goals take over that. So Company's against Leicester is my favourite. Well, I'm, I, I'm, somebody's going to interview me for my five questions. It's the last episode. And 
I am toying with that one because I don't think I've had so much emotion in the ground when he hit that, yeah. that sort of pause for a few seconds thinking, has that gone in? Because I was right. Well, the, very similar, the moments are very similar, Andy, aren't they? Oh. Where and the, comp uh, the, the minutes were completely different, but the significant other goals were. Yeah. Oh, it's huge. Absolutely huge moment. So finally, your final question, and this has stumped a few people on the series. If you could pick one player, past or present, dead or alive, ex-City or played for any other team in world football to play in this current Pep Guardiola system, who would it be and why? Great question that, isn't it? Immediately, I think Marco Van Basten was probably one of the best finishers I've ever seen. Put him in this side. How many goals a season would he get? But my City heart won't let me leave. <laughs> so it would be Paul Late. I'd put him in this City side and he'd play anywhere if you like. It's just naturally, and he's the best player we never saw. His talents never came to the front, but they were there to see from a raw teenager coming into the side. And he just, he glided across the pitch and, you know, God bless him, it didn't happen because of the injuries. But that player, I'd, I'd pick Lakey and stick him in that side. And he was my favourite player as well as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all love Lakey as a kid, didn't we? Yeah. He's just a wonderful, I mean, just, it's such and a shame. Friend, uh, yeah, uh, really, really good. So anyway, listen, I want to say a massive thank you to Mark uh, for coming on this latest episode of Who Are You? Um, Mark, thank you so much, mate. Been a pleasure. See you in August. Yeah, <laughs> take care. See you, mate. Bye. Bye. <laughs>